volunteers came to dispel the myth and put the statistics to the test at Coldwater Boot Camp USA, where Dr. Gordon Giesbrecht, aka Professor Popsicle, gave them all a dose of reality of what really happens and what to do if you find yourself in cold water. So it starts with one to several deep gasps. And then hyperventilation. So you have the and then you have rapid breathing after that. And uh, so those, those effects last 30 seconds, maybe a minute for some people. But what's important is keep your head above water as much as you can, because if you gasp when your head's underwater, you actually can inhale more than a liter of water in the first gasp. And, and if you do that, then you'll drown. Do not panic the psychological stress can actually feed the hyperventilation, so you just breathe uncontrollably, indefinitely. You can actually faint if you hyperventilate enough. And of course, if you're out there with a life jacket on, fainting means that you'll die. The cardiac effect, when you jump into cold water, you may, might increase blood pressure and heart rate, and uh, increasing the stress can cause cardiac arrest. This really only happens if in people who have underlying heart disease. You have one minute to get your breathing under control. Don't panic. The cold shock response will pass. And the more you try to relax, the quicker it will pass. You could survive an hour or more in ice water as long as you have a life jacket on and you can protect your airway.